Hi, I'm Sabrissi, I'm Shamapte and welcome to my channel and today I have 200 year old skincare products with me so yeah it sounds like very fascinating right the preservatives in there have to be good right actually not actually in this video I'm going to talk about the brands that are quite old and see they used to make certain products like say 100 years back or 200 years back and they still make those things they might have uh, reformulated the thing but still the function the name everything is similar even the scent so yeah let's start with this so i became fascinated about this old beauty product since i made this video on vaseline so i came to know vaseline came to existence back in 1870 i think so yeah it's quite old and the man who discovered vaseline robert cheese Rao, if i'm correct he was so fascinated with this vaseline petroleum jelly he said that he used to eat it yeah you heard it right and don't do it please don't do it I mean somewhat he was so convinced about the miraculous power of Vaseline that he used to eat it. Though it's not sure it can be this myth uh, but yeah I say that he used to eat Vaseline. Oh yeah I'm saying it again and again because I'm, I still can't like wrap my head around it. Anyway there are other things that are quite old and you might not like know that you know you have been using these things and you don't know about the history so i'm going to talk about those things in this video and you might be surprised by few products in there so first i have this really old soap so this soap is i mean this brand is around i think more than 200 year old they make lavender scented soaps which got really popular during victorian england can you guess the name of the brand this is it this is the Yardley and I didn't know Yardley is so old. I thought it's a new brand. I mean, not new, like when I was in school, I saw the ads of this uh, talc, I think. I didn't see the ad of this soap. I saw the ad of the talc and perfume and I thought it might be a new brand, something like that. Definitely not 200 year old, but this is 200 year old brand and especially this lavender formula. This is quite old. I like the scent, but this is quite drying on my skin so i'm gonna keep it with me as you know the collection of my vintage skincare but smell is nice uh, not my favorite lavender scent but it has this like old charm to it still it's kind of drying for my skin so the next thing i have was first introduced back in 1846 and it is a cold cream quite famous one also the brand made the ad where they advise the ladies to use this cream as cleansing balm so technically it can be the first cleansing balm ever and that is pawns and yeah i have like i have known this thing for ever since i was a child the smell is still the same and uh, as a cream i don't like it much because it makes my skin greasy and i tried this as cleansing balm didn't work that well for me but i cannot deny the presence of this cream because i have known this like forever and the smell is still the same they have changed the packaging though i remember it used to be rounder yeah the smell the texture still are the same all right next i have this brand that was founded around i think 1847 and they have this famous witch hazel toner that is this one oh god um back then they used to think that witch hazel is a like magical thing it can cure everything acne any skin problem it was a very big thing like now we have centella green tea back then which is a, used to be like that popular but i used this one for my skin i found this to be drying also it gave me a rash so it's not for me but i can't deny how old this brand is and see it's written since 1847 so yes it has been there for a long time so the last thing i have for this video is a soap that doesn't clean your skin that creams your skin yeah it is to be the tagline of this brand you know this soap doesn't clean your skin it creams your skin i think you must have guessed it by now yeah it is dove so dove is not at old like the other things in this video i reckon it came to existence back in uh, 1957 and actually i love this soap even my mom used to love it dove used to be her favorite soap also they have been running this half face taste for a long time where one side you apply dove 
and on the side you apply any uh, other soap and this side and the dove side feels softer also the usp has been the mild cleansing ability of this soap and i think they're right it feels quite mild quite gentle it cleanses my skin but it doesn't feel dry so yeah here you have it the old beauty products you still can buy and i really hope you found this to be helpful and thank you so much for watching i'm gonna see you very soon then bye bye